Chase Lee Hockey here at the Blue Food Town. Out of the movie theater, we saw The Invitation. I feel like there's been a lot of movies called The Invitation. This one doesn't match its title. In the Invitation, what's about the very simple premise actually there's a girl in New York who gets a 23andMe type of thing and realizes, wait a minute, she might have family in England. But is this family in England messed with the dirty, dirty vampires to gain power? What's fine? Ah! So, did I like this movie? No, this is not a good movie by a lot of metrics. It's cheesy writing, horrible dialogue, laughable moments, PG-13 painfully, painfully PG-13 acting, eh, gore, what gore, and it's basically like you're wearing blinders because you can't see what is happening on the screen. So with that, I will actually give you the positives of this movie first. What is good, and I'll say the last act of the movie. What, something happened to you, okay, okay, I like what they decided to do there in a kindly twist, if you want to put it that way. Even though these type of movies, you know what's going to happen. I mean, there is no twist or turns where you're like, oh shit, I didn't see that coming. Everything you see here happens for a reason, and you're just not surprised at all. Even though when it does happen, you're like, okay, that's pretty cool that it's actually happening. But when it's done, you're just like, yeah. It's supposed to happen, and I think it would be really cool if they decided to, you know, go that different route of like, oh shit, this is actually going to be a huge powerhouse thing, but they decide not to do it. Other than that, okay, cool, third half, if you want to put it that way, third act of the movie, everything else does not work. The main thing I noticed with this movie, it is lighting. The lighting of this movie is horrendous. You don't know what the hell is happening. There's maids and sellers trying to get wine. Good luck figuring out what the hell is happening behind the scenes. In the room. Going under the bed. Good luck knowing what is in that chair. What is in the corner. Because you can't see nothing. There is no moment in this movie where it's like a bright light underneath. No, it's candles. Or these weird fluorescent things. that And you're just like, good luck. I don't know what the fuck is happening. And it is painfully painfully PG-13 to a T, the blood and gore. What blood and gore? It's a vampire movie. If you're going to do something, at least show me some gore of, like, some blood, something. Show me something in this movie. Okay, yeah, we're going to see him bite into someone in, like, little drips of blood. That's it? Come on now. Twilight has shown more gore than this. This is ridiculous. Like, this is painful, painful PG-13, and it is not good at all. The acting is so ho-hum. The writing is atrocious. Like, the first, like, you know, dialogue between these two friends is so bad. In the very end with a baseball bat, you're just like, what are we doing? This makes no sense. Like, I understand that you're trying to do a joke with a baseball bat, but it, it literally makes no sense. There's just bats laying around, L- like, London, just laying around. Like, oh, shit, a metal baseball bat on the corner. You're just like, this makes no sense. An atrocious writing. This feels like they saw Get Out and they're like, ooh, what can we do with the racial divide and the wokeness and like make it so dumbed down? At least Get Out felt a little bit original and you're like, oh shit, we're doing good scenarios, good gore. Interesting here is like, we're going to take that basic, 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 basic Get Out premise, add vampires. We're we're only going to have the same friend do the same thing as Get Out. Same racial divide of whites and blacks basically in this movie so you're like this is a carbon copy vampire get out movie with horrible directing horrible lighting horrible writing directing and lighting even though that's basically the same thing acting premise it's not a good movie on any single level so the invitation do not go to this party do not do not i said i was gonna make 10 million this meal weekend it could, because it's PG-13, but man, this was a very, very bad movie. So the invitation will receive a .5 out of 5 of Futon. It was at 10%. I, almost on the verge of hate. When I watch a movie that's an hour and 40 minutes and I can't see a fucking thing, I wasted my $10. 
So let's see the critics new scores gave this one. So at the time of this recording, we have three critic scores and fewer than 50 audience with 53%. And the critics underneath are two negative and one positive. I'm surprised it was a positive, guys. I cannot recommend this movie. Even if you're like, oh, I'm bored this weekend. Don't. Don't go see Top Gun for your seventh time. You'll have more fun. I swear to it. So we have what's that? 33%. My 10% are the audience is 53. Chase Doc with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think is Blue Futopia. You Blue Futon. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. And seriously, if I could at least see what was happening on screen, it would have gone up maybe to a 20% or 30%. But I couldn't see nothing.